This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Tom Bukovac said this about the Strymon Brigadier, which is the full daddy version of the Brig. In my humble opinion, the best delay pedal that money can buy, no matter what you spend, is the Strymon Brigadier. So when I got an email from a chap called Jake, who uh, I think works in the UK for the company that kind of promote or do PR for Strymon, he's asked basically would I demo a, a few Strymon pedals or would I be interested in specifically the Brig? I said yes because Tom Bukovac said that about the Brigadier and I thought let's see, um, you know, how it holds up. Um, now I'm not being paid to make this video, this is sent to me on loan. They did say, you know, how much would I charge for this sort of video and I've kind of turned down some payment because I'm interested to check out a few Strymon pedals anyway and I figured it might be the sort of thing that folks are interested in. So it's kind of, um, you know, an unbiased, unpaid look at the Brig. They've also sent me the Univibe to check out as well. But let me know in the comments if there are other Strymon pedals that you think I need to know about. For me, if it's a, a money is no object kind of delay, for me, I think my favourite delay is probably the Meris LVX. But uh, I think when Tom made that initial comment, uh, I presume that wasn't out yet um, but yeah it sounds great in Tom's demo of it and I, I actually found that in the um, kind of mix of a an actual sort of bit of music it, it had a real nice kind of quality to it and the analog kind of BBD style delay seems to sit out of the way of the mix a little bit um, as well as the chorus on this being you know or the modulation being really pretty incredible dogs so this is loan gear, so I've not actually been sent anything for free. Obviously it's not cost me anything, but it will be going back to them. And I've sort of turned down payment. But the idea I'm hoping is that I'll be able to get my hand on some other Strymon gear. So that's kind of my uh, reason for doing this behind the scenes. Now the Brig is an analog uh, style delay, right? Like a bucket brigade style delay. Now recently, um, Boss have actually brought out some bits and pieces 
that are kind of analog delay with lots of actual chips. So for me, I guess the question is how come this Strymon stuff is so enduring when there are kind of analog alternatives out there now. So I think one of the key users of this guy, um, or at least the full version of it, is Tom Bukovac. I have to say the only thing I don't like about this format of the pedal is that you have to have like a stereo thingy here to get, you know, the stereo operation, um, which is a little bit frustrating because I don't really have loads of that type of lead lying around. So we're going to be hearing it today uh, in a mono context. So as if we were going to be plugging straight in into an amplifier, um, but I've just got the manual here. And I'm going to guess, like most Strymon gear, if you're doing simple things, it's actually pretty simple. So, let's get a guitar. We've got a Strat. So, in terms of features to know about on here, I think if you hold this, you can get a tap tempo. And that's kind of one of the aspects with this pedal, right? My clean tone is like this. <laughs> So basically just like a very just on the edge of breakup kind of dumbbellish with the HX stomp. Now, break on. So. At the moment, that's kind of set up slap back type style, right? So we got so uh, sorry 3205, sorry. So this re recreates the character of vintage delay pedals that used a single low wattage MN3205 VBD chip for gritty repeats. Great for slap back leads and sci-fi sounds. Let me just turn off any reverb here as well for now. Okay, we've got mod here, we've got filter. Okay, if we get time up. And it does that whole thing. And it can also do the self oscillation thing. So that's the longest. And then I guess with filter, we can control the brightness or darkness of it. I 
I guess one of the things that in the past would have probably stopped me from using an analog style delay as my kind of go-to is that I find, for me, I quite like a more, you know, clear kind of delay. Part of the character of a Bucket Brigade style delay is that it is rolling off quite a lot of the top end. It's kind of interesting with this filter to bring that back in. That's something I'm liking about it. That's a bit weird. But you'll see in there it's kind of degrading a bit if you get that filter. It's kind of resonating. Got a bit of ring mod there essentially, right? So I guess if you take that filter up too high. I wonder if it does that on all of the voices. So the, still there a bit, the middle position is 100 milliseconds to one second, recreates the character of vintage delay pedals that use two MN3005 BBD chips at higher voltage for longer delay times with a dreamy quality. You know, do that sort of thing with it. An actual kind of interesting range of stuff on that modulation from kind of more normal kind of typical mods all the way up to sort of like Leslie style now the multi this is I'm thinking probably the area where I'm gonna have the most fun so this creates complex soundscapes using two cross-coupled, super clean BBD delay lines with golden ratio timing. So.
just had more of a thought I think possibly the thing with BBD chips is that as you increase the time that kind of degrades the quality so it's not just the filter I think that ring mod is possibly coming because I'm kind of loading the bucket up as I'm really enjoying that. The one thing... And I think it's got some trails that you can turn on or off in there as well. Uh, you do all of this stuff with the, the Strymon stuff. It generally tends to involve um, doing a certain thing when you turn on or off the unit. Um, yeah, so you can do some spillover -y bits and pieces. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's kind of, to, to me, it's got a... A warmness to it, a warmth to it. It's not offensive in any way at all, um, and I like basically how it sounds on most settings. I guess the other thing I've not really done, kind of a slapback type thing, right? The full version you'd have MIDI capability, and this one you've got MIDI as well, or an expression pedal. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. I think how much are these? 249.99 what do you reckon to that i think for me is it the strymon brigadier 294 you've got bucket loss on that one uh and you've got a tap 
which is specific. The main benefit, I think, of those is that you have a left and right output instead of the stereo join thing. So I don't know whether this is the ideal format for me, but obviously this is going to be a lot, well, somewhat easier to fit on some people's boards. Um, and in theory, it's got the same bits and pieces in terms of actual algorithm, right? Um, so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments if you want. Yeah, that's the Brig D bucket delay. First time plugging that in. Uh, I think there's some really good sounds in there. Um, I'm not sure whether necessarily that's going to be off an actual BBD type delay pedal, of which there are a few about now, right? There's like the Boss makes some that are uh, digitally controlled but have a couple of D bucket chips. I think Chase Bliss probably do as well. Um, so if you've got other options for this sort of thing within the comments, let me know. Um, cheers.